Wonderful. All right. Thank you all for joining me for a 30 minute meditation. It is lovely to be here with you on this very chilly Friday, at least if you're in Washington, DC, it's chilly. Um, for your meditation, you are welcome to sit into a chair with your feet uncrossed and both feet on the floor. You can sit on the floor on, you know, crisscross applesauce or with one foot in front of the other. We call this Sukhasana in yoga or easy pose. And you are also welcome to lie down for this meditation. So if you'd like to lie down, please feel free to do that. So you're going to find yourself in a comfortable seated position. And to start, I'll just explain a little bit about what meditation is and is not. Sometimes we think of meditation as like, an absence of thought, or we think about this guy, right? My little Om Nome, and we think that we're supposed to look like this, but actually anybody can meditate. Um, there's no such thing as a good meditator or a bad meditator. There are simply people who meditate and people who don't. So for the purpose of today, you're doing it. Good for you. Um, thoughts, feelings, stuff like that. That's not the enemy in any way. Instead in, your, uh, in meditation, we're like developing a capacity to notice our thought patterns, our feelings as they come up without getting sucked into that narrative, that story that we tell ourselves, right? So um, during class, when you find your mind wandering, you're just gonna compassionately return yourself to your breath, to the present moment, right? Rather than thinking about something else, but it's not like a bad thing when your mind wanders, it's really natural, right? Um, the, the nice part is that then we have this opportunity to kind of pull ourselves back into where we are, who we are, how we are, right? How we're breathing. Um, my favorite definition of meditation is compassionate mind control. So think about it that way. You're gonna compassionately start to hone your thoughts rather than just no thoughts whatsoever. Um, if you are able to uh, not think at all in meditation, good for you, but that's, that's not for me. Our minds naturally wander and then we just compassionately pull ourselves back. All right, so again, you're just gonna find yourself in a comfortable seated position or lying down, whatever that is for you. And again, if you're seated on a chair or a sofa, feet uncrossed, legs uncrossed, feet on the floor, just finding a way that you can really feel rooted into the floor. I'm now going to light a candle as a symbolic gesture that we are entering into a more intentional time and space. So we're being intentional with our thoughts, intentional with our breath, and even intentional with our body movement. Now during meditation, if you need to kind of shift how you're uh, seated because you know, you're getting distracted by your discomfort, please feel free, but also notice the difference between moving around because you're uncomfortable and you're distracted by your discomfort versus moving around because you really don't want to sit still with yourself, right? So we're trying to just enjoy the company we keep, enjoy our own company. All right, you are welcome to close your eyes. If closing your eyes is distracting, you can keep your eyes open. Think about doing a soft fuzzy gaze just beyond the tip of your nose. So rather than you know, doing a sharp focus on objects in your periphery, you can do a soft fuzzy gaze beyond the tip of your nose, or you can close your eyes. If you're in a seated position, sit up nice and tall. If you're lying on the floor, let the floor hold you up. Notice what parts of your body are touching the ground below you. Maybe what parts of your body are touching fabric, clothing. And also what parts of your body are touching the air. Notice how you're breathing. Try not to manipulate or force your breath. you're like me, the minute someone says, notice how you're breathing automatically, right? You want to change how you're breathing. Just be a passive, compassionate observer. Where do you most feel your breath? Is it in your nostrils? Maybe your upper lip or your chest? 
noticing the sensations of your breath without forcing or manipulating. Relaxation, meditation, concentration, it's not a destination, right? You can relax your shoulders consciously, actively, and then a minute later, maybe you notice the shoulders are tensed up again, or you can draw your attention to your breath. And then a minute later, right, you notice you're thinking about what's for dinner. So Meditation, concentration, relaxation, these are um, verbs, these are action words. It's not a one-time destination. It's a repeated invitation to return to yourself, to return to your breath. As we start to sink into a more relaxed state, notice if there's any lingering impressions of the day still kind of playing across your mind. Maybe a task that you haven't done yet, or you know something that happened earlier today that didn't sit well with you. Maybe you have a recurring thought or emotion in your mind anytime you kind of start to get still, maybe something that creeps up. Name whatever that is on your heart, on your mind, acknowledge it, look it in the eye. And then politely set it aside, right? It'll be there for you after your meditation if it's useful. Sometimes if I, you know, still have something on my to-do list, I almost feel guilty about not thinking about it. Maybe that resonates with you, maybe it doesn't. There's no guilt or shame here. Um, in fact, there should be a lot of pride that you took some time just to sit with yourself and breathe. When we don't take time for ourselves, when we become disembodied or super stressed out or anxious, we often run into burnout or even illness, right? And then we can't take care of those tasks at all. We can't help the people that we love at all. So think of this as a preventative measure and something that is 100% for you. And at the same time is a wonderful way for you to continue to show up for the people and things in your life that you care about. Self-care is community care. Notice the sensations of your breath. And allow your mind to quiet. Not forcing the breath. Not even really forcing your thoughts, just noticing as the thoughts come up without getting involved in that story. Might be a new story you're telling yourself or again, something repetitive that you've told yourself for a long time. Like a pathway deeply embedded in your brain. And again, just for now, we're gonna set that aside focus on the breath without forcing or changing the breath, just appreciating it. If you feel the breath in your nostrils or your abdomen or your throat, there's no right or wrong answer. Sometimes in times of stress, we become disembodied, right? We almost float above our body thinking about anything but what's really going on. We live in a society that on the one hand really wants to believe in a magic pill, right? Like take this pill and you'll, you'll lose 20 pounds overnight. Take this pill and you know, your memory will improve. 
And at the same time, we live in a society that is deeply skeptical of simple solutions to real problems. So sometimes when we're disembodied, when we're stressed out, when we're you know, really in our head, but not in our body, it's as simple as focusing on your breath or a certain body part, right? It's almost so obvious, so simple that we're a little skeptical, but it works. Where are your feet? You can wiggle your toes if you want. Notice the sensations of your feet. Are they warm or cold, tingly, losing circulation? You don't need to force or manipulate. You might also notice that you don't feel much sensation in your feet and that's perfectly valid as well. We're just giving ourselves an opportunity to notice what's going on in the lowest part of our body. Send a nice slow breath down all the way to the tips of your toes. Deep breath in, bringing the full spotlight of your consciousness to your feet. Deep, slow breath out, releasing any tension in your feet, your heels, your ankles, your toes. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. And then return your breath to normal, unforced. Just taking a few more moments to sit with your feet, as silly as it might sound. So we're not forcing the breath. We're not forcing sensations in the feet. We're just being passive, compassionate observers. Next, bring your full awareness to your lower legs, from your kneecaps to your shins and calves. Notice any sensations in the lower legs. Again, there's no right answer. It could be tightness or lack of tightness. Temperature. Maybe even like a color or an image comes to mind. Just observing what's coming up for you when you bring your full self to the lower legs. Find your mind wandering, just returning your thoughts to your lower legs and to your unencumbered breath. Send a long, slow inhale all the way down to the lower legs. Long, slow exhale through the nose, releasing tension from the calves, the shins, the knees, and the backs of the knees. Send a loving, slow, intentional inhale through the nose to the lower legs. Slow exhale through the nose, just bringing your full self to this part of your body. Breathing in. Slowly emptying out. And then just return your breath to normal, just sitting for a few moments longer with the lower legs. Not forcing or manipulating, just observing.
Next, draw your attention to the upper legs, the hamstrings, quadriceps, outer thighs and inner thighs. Notice any sensations or associations here. Perhaps a memory comes up, right, of an injury. Or maybe it doesn't. You might notice when you draw your attention to a certain part of the body that it gets a little bit um, itchy or that when somebody brings up itching, you get a little itchy. There's no right or wrong. Just noticing what's coming up without getting sucked into that narrative, right? That story you tell yourself, just letting that go. Just being a compassionate observer of your own body moving and regenerating in real time and space. Take a long, slow inhale through the nose, breathing deep into the upper legs. Slow exhale through the nose, releasing any tension in the hamstrings, quadriceps, the outer or inner thighs. Slow inhale, breathing there. Slow exhale, letting go of anything you're holding on to. Deep, soothing inhale. Slow, gentle exhale. And then return your breath to normal, just sitting with the upper legs for a few moments. Next, draw your attention to the root of your body, your hips, your seat, your pelvic floor, then your sexual organs. Just noticing any sensations at the root of your body and just sitting with them without needing an explanation without needing to fix or alter any sensations, just noticing. Take a slow inhale through your nose, breathing into the root area of your body. Slow exhale through your nose, releasing any tension, any stress that you might be holding there. We often hold some tension in our hips, swings in our pelvic floor and our glutes. Just noticing that deep breath in. And let it all go through the exhale breath. Slow inhale, slow exhale. If you notice your mind wandering or following a particular association or memory, just noticing those thought patterns, right? Thoughts are not the enemy. You're just noticing and then cultivating the capacity to come back to the breath, back to the body, back to the breath. Allow your breath to flow naturally. As you spend some time focusing on the root, the seat of your body. Place the full spotlight of your consciousness on your torso. And 
Notice your abdomen, sides of your torso, your back, all the way up through your chest, into your armpits and shoulder blades, upper back, middle back, lower back, lower abdominal wall, solar plex, chest. Notice any sensations in the center of your body, maybe how your body moves with your breath or how it doesn't. Anywhere that feels stuck or tense, just observing. Take a slow inhale through your nose, feel your chest rise. Slow exhale through your nose, releasing any tension in the core through the exhale breath. As you inhale, feel where you might be holding on to something. It could be physical, it could be mental, emotional, spiritual. Slow exhale, just letting any tension go through the exhale breath. Deep inhale into the abdomen. Easy exhale from the abdomen. Return your breath to normal. And just sitting with the center line of your body appreciating any sensations or lack of sensations that you feel. Again, there's no right or wrong answer. We're just observing. Draw your attention to your shoulders, your upper arms. Are they a temperature? Is there a color or image that comes to mind? Maybe a word. Noticing your thoughts and your feelings pass without following them down a rabbit hole. Breathe into the upper arms. Exhale, let shoulders and upper arms relax. Let's do two more slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose, bringing your full awareness, your full self to the shoulders and upper arms. And then just returning your breath to slow and easy, steady, whatever your breath needs to be right now, whatever you need to be right now, just sitting with the upper arms. Now draw your attention to your elbows, your lower arms, the forearms, noticing any tension there or lack of tension, sensation or lack of sensation. Just giving your full self to the elbows and lower arms. It can sound a little bit silly, but this is a lovely practice just to bring ourselves back into our body just by focusing on certain areas of the body and our breath out forcing or fighting.
Send a slow inhale through your nose, all the way down through your elbows, your lower arms. Slow exhale through your nose, relaxing, releasing any tension in the arms and elbows. Taking two more slow, deep, intentional breaths here. Give yourself a moment just to sit with your elbows and lower arms, as silly as that can sound, just in full appreciation of this part of your body. And I do mean full appreciation, an appreciation that has no desire to manipulate or force or change in any way. Just letting that part of your body be exactly as it is with the hope that by extension, you can one day allow yourself to be exactly as you are. No need to force or to prove anything to yourself or anyone else. Bring your full consciousness to your hands, palms, wrists, knuckles and fingertips. Noticing any sensations here. Take a deep breath in through the nose, all the way down through the wrists, the hands, into the fingertips. Release any tension from the hands, the wrists with your exhale breath. Breathe in. Let go through the exhale. Slow, intentional breath in, sending fresh blood, fresh oxygen to the fingertips. Slow exhale and appreciation of your hands and wrists. Keep your full awareness, full self on your hands, on your breath, without changing or altering. Next, bring your awareness to your throat, your neck spine, your whole head, top of the head, face. Notice any sensations here. Just noticing, just bearing witness. A slow inhale through your nose, breathing from the throat, the neck, through the chin, the middle of the head, through the top of the head. Slow exhale, relaxing through the scalp, the temples, the jaw and ears. Breathing into the mouth, into the nose, into the eyeballs, into the back of the head. Exhaling slowly, intentionally, just releasing any tension from the forehead, the lips, the throat, wherever it might be. Deep inhale. Slow exhale. And then just return your breath to normal, giving yourself a few moments just to sit with that head of yours, that beautiful head of yours, just allowing it for once to be exactly how it's meant to be. No forcing or fighting. Sometimes when we think about, you know, cleansing, 
Maybe it's from our phones or our televisions. We think, great, I'll unplug, but then, you know, we read a book, right? So we're still focusing outward. Or we think, I'll give up, you know, gluten for a day, but then like, you know, we're still getting our, you know, yummy food from somewhere else. That's not a bad thing. But sometimes we trade one distraction for another that we think is maybe slightly better. And meditation is an opportunity to truly turn off all the outside stuff, not just your phone, not just your television, but like your books, right? Even your yoga, your workouts, all those healthy self-care mechanisms. We're letting go of those as well and just really going inward. Especially in times of stress, right? We come out of our body into our mind just through bringing our full self, our full awareness to our body, through our breath, we're able to relax and let go. You're welcome to stay in this relaxed position for as long as you would like. Otherwise, at the count of three, you can open your eyes or make any motions with your body that will tell you that you're shifting consciousness. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Easy exhale through your nose for three, two, one. You're welcome to stay in your meditative state or to take a nap or just lie down for a while longer or slowly make yourself you know, up into a little bit of a different position. I'm going to blow out this candle now as a symbolic gesture that our intentional time is done and I am letting the very real smoke clear the air as a literal gesture that um, our bodies, our minds, and even the space around us is quite literally transformed through intentionality, through meditation, even just through lighting a candle. Thank you all so much for joining.